time to crack open the sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games. Mike, the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog you by Kaufman and Lynn, personal injury attorneys. Bulldog, I, I, I know you were a big Toby Keith fan, so you're probably uh, a little bit uh, surprised with the news this morning, huh? I was. I'm sad. And I, I actually saw Toby Keith in concert here in Orlando, uh, I don't know, about three or four years ago. He's come through here yeah, a lot over awesome. the years, man. Yeah. One of, yeah, one of the great country singers of all time, I think. You know, had some great patriotic songs, just, you know, this the song about, remember that song, This Bar? I, I love that song. Yeah. Oh, this great, too. Play that one later. Yeah. Well, we played Red Solo Cup earlier. We're going to drop something else in here in a little while. But anyway, yeah, if you're just uh, waking up and joining us, Toby Keith uh, got the news overnight. He lost his battle with cancer, passed away at the age of 62. Wow. Yeah, sad day. Um, you actually alerted me to this story yesterday. I hadn't seen it. But, um, yeah, Inner Miami has been on this international tour because of Messi, all right? Right. So they're, they're supposed to play in Hong Kong, or they did play in Hong Kong a couple nights ago, except Messi didn't play, and all the Hong Kong fans were livid. They were, you know, chanting refund, refund. The Hong Kong government said it was a travesty that they promoted that Messi was going to be there right. and he didn't even play in the game. Well, <laughs> Messi had a press conference yesterday because they're supposed to play in Japan coming up in Tokyo, and Messi had a press conference and tried to smooth things over. <laughs> yeah. Um, but come on now. What a ripoff that was. It's weak. I mean, it's, it, yeah, it's really weak. All the, the Inner Miami is making millions and millions of dollars on this tour they need to give all that money back they took from those hong kong sports fans and every fan who bought a ticket should be given a refund it's one thing when messi sits out a regular season game in mls but when you don't play in an international game that's just low nobody in hong kong's buying tickets to see inner miami who it's not it's not like they're 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 manchester united or something no, right it's hong kong fooey. i, to I told you yesterday it's hong kong fooey. yeah it was absolutely right so anyway thanks for alerting me to that. I, I, I don't I, was in, I, I just i don't know if i'm ever ever gonna fully understand the soccer mindset I just, what? I what just, mean? so many different. They just do so many things. Just I don't anyway. Oh, uh, he's he's having a problem still with the uh, the Orlando with the City player season tournament where they have the the tournaments in the middle of the season that don't have anything loaning to do with players. You know, selling players. I it sounds a lot like the slave trade or pimping out. You know, women. Do you know. Uh, yeah. What, prostitution. What? I'm saying like prostitution. <laughs> oh, We're just giving our Orlando player <laughs> the other day to a team for like, you know, millions. Whatever it is. Whatever. Can we talk about the Super Bowl now? Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Down the rabbit hole we go. Good Lord. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, yeah, Patrick Mahomes uh, had his you know, uh, opening press conference at the Super Bowl yesterday. You know, one of the big storylines is has Mahomes, if he wins this one, is he already as great as Tom Brady? Thank God um, Patrick Mahomes put, put some no. sanity into this, this manufactured debate and said, even if I win, I'm, only, I'm not even halfway to Brady's seven Super Bowls. So... Again, this is this is these clickbait talking heads just trying to create debate. And anybody ask about, anybody ask him about his dad? Of course, <laughs> I'm, I'd I, imagine I don't know if they did. I'm sure they did. I didn't see a story about it though. I didn't watch the entire press conference. The dad, dad, but, dad, dad is going to the Super Bowl despite his third DUI uh, bust the other yeah. night. Yeah. Well, yeah. hopefully he gets yeah, a driver. Way go, yeah, yeah. Way to go, Dad. Way to, way to become a distraction right. to your son right. before the big game. Uh, Roger Goodell, NFL commissioner, had his uh, Super Bowl week press conference yesterday. You guys want to guess what the main topic is? Oh, he's thrilled uh, with the uh, Taylor Swift angle because it's exposed the NFL to a whole new crowd, uh, namely young women. (laughs) That's right. He also denied any notion that the Swift-Kelsey relationship is contrived or politically scripted. (laughs) 
which I guess is a common theory or common theory or uh, conspiracy theory out there. Well, you look at it. I mean, after the Grammys the other night and all the news as of her late and him, it's like they're a, a complete power couple, dude. She's our, she's worth like one point one bill. She cannot be stopped. She cannot be stopped. Hey, what what's this uh, with the Forty uh, ers getting stiffed with a crappy uh, practice field? Yeah, I guess they're the 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 sod on their practice field got laid just last week, and I guess it's too soft. What they do is they roll the turf over, they roll natural sod over the artificial turf, and I guess they didn't put it down in time because it hasn't had a chance to be hardened. And yeah, it's too soft. But they say they're going to live with it. It's amazing how they do that. By the way, they did that at the Pro Bowl. Yeah, they they have they just have these th- these rolls of sod and they with these machines and they just roll the sod on top of the artificial turf and yeah, it's awesome the way they do it. But I I guess you have to do it <laughs> like a couple weeks ahead of time so it can get hardened. And so yeah, that's how that goes. By the way, do you see this story? Um, you know, we've been talking a lot about college sports and NIL and the transfer portal. Uh, yesterday, a National Labor Relations Board, all right, ruled that the Dartmouth basketball team are employees, all right, and they are now in a union, which, you know, they say this is oh going to be God. some sort of groundbreaking case because the Dartmouth, uh, Dartmouth basketball team is now going to be considered employees of the school. And, are they paying yeah, union I think, fees? I, I think they are. I think they're play, paying union fees. Here's the thing, though: the Dart, the, the Dartmouth University says, "Wait a minute, your employees, your team doesn't make money. Your team, <laughs> the Dartmouth basketball team, loses money." And I, I don't know what's going to come of this, but if I'm these schools, I say, "Okay, your employees, you're fired. <laughs> you're, you're fired." fired. And your team has been disbanded because you don't make money. I mean, I think this is going to be really bad for the non-revenue sports. Wow. Most most college sports, volleyball, swimming, they don't make money. So how can they be – if your business isn't making money, how do you – how are you going to be an employee of a business? I mean, hell, I'm in the newspaper business, and we're making less and less money. I don't know how much longer we're going to be employed. Hey, I so. tell you what, I think that whole thing is bad for everybody, the uh, the athletes as well. Because if any of them, if let's just say, like, well, Dartmouth. It's not bad for the, the football and, bas- and men's basketball athletes, but because their sports actually make money, or at least some of them do. Okay, some but, of the schools. But if you're talking about, like uh, you mentioned, volleyball or this or that we see these people that you know are super hot or whatever and they're a volleyball player and they're paid now if you got union involved and they're an employee of the school you could just say well there's employment rules here that nil doesn't this whole thing's weird all right uh, magic back in action tonight uh were they down in uh, south florida it's face the, the heat. hated heat you have to beat the Heat, by the way, the Heat are reeling right now. They've only won uh, two of their last ten games. There's talk that they want to make some noise at the trade deadline, which, by the way, is coming up Thursday. So, yeah, hopefully the Magic beat the Heat tonight. Mike the Bulldog Bianchi from AM 740 and FM 96.9 The Game and uh, his sports page brought to you each morning here on JRR by Kaufman and Lind. Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Kaufman every Saturday morning, 7.30, FM 96.9. The game, you can catch extended versions of Under Oath by searching for Under Oath with Jeff Kaufman on your favorite streaming platform. Taco on demand. Download the iHeartRadio app.